Here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give that to the people, spread it across the country. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the people, spread it across the country. Here we go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us. Like the ceiling. I'm so damn grateful. I grew up really wanting gold fronts, but that's what you get when Wu Tang raised you. Y'all can't stop me. Go hard like I got an eight away in my heartbeat. And I'm meeting at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We raw. Time to go off. I'm gone. Two says goodbye. I got a world to see. And my girl, she want to see Rome. See, so make you a believer now. Nah, I never ever did it for a throne. That validation comes from giving it back to the people now. Nah, sing this song and it goes like. Raise those hands, this is our party. We came here to live life like nobody was watching. I got my city right behind me. If I fall, they got me. Learn from that failure, gain humility, and then we keep marching. Yeah, I we said. go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us. Like the ceiling can Rochester, New York, it's game time! Welcome to the Blue Cross Arena here at our community's war memorial. Welcome to round one of the NLL playoffs. Let's get something started. Let's make a statement tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Wolfpack, your Rochester Nighthawks! Starting, wearing number two, Paul Dawson. Wearing number 10, starting, Joel McCready. Wearing number 16, give it up for Dilly, Dylan Abbott. Wearing number 26, Kirky, Mike Kirk. And Soupy, number 37, Scott Campbell! And in goal, wearing number 48, Vito Matt Vince!
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's visitors, the Philadelphia Wings. Here are the starters for the Philadelphia Wings. On defense number five, Mike Manley. Also on defense number 21, Jeff Reynolds. In transition, number 11, Joel White. In transition, number 17, Brody Merrill. In transition, number 44, Jordan Hall. And starting in goal, Brandon Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philadelphia Wings. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please rise and remove your hats for the presentation of our nation's colors. Colors tonight being presented by Seneca District 2013 Pack of the Year, Cub Scout Pack 54. Performing our national anthem this evening, please welcome Bailey Morrison.
What do you say we get something started? Let's make some noise! Five loose balls for the Philadelphia Wings. Ten success against the Rochester Nighthawks winning faceoffs. And here we go, the opening faceoff to kick off the National Across League playoffs. Off the faceoff, Reynolds wins it ahead. He runs into Paul Dawson, but he takes it deep into the Rochester zone, has it behind the net. Now he just steps away from a check from Mike Kirk, fed up top to Jordan Hall. Hall with it, had that overtime game winner against Toronto a couple weeks ago. Big overtime victory on national TV. Mundorf on the right wing side. Brendan Mundorf this year playing just six games, came back from a foot injury that he suffered in the outdoor game. And a shot clock violation, so the first possession from Philadelphia and Rochester forces the 32nd call. Dan Dawson across midfield, feeds it over to White, open Paulus, the shot, it went wide. Scooped off off the end boards and back away in transition comes Philadelphia. As Buchanan will take the flip pass. Buchanan on the left wing side, he's got Kevin Crawley, Mike McClellan, Jordan Hall, and Ross out there with him. From the left wing side, that one is picked out of the air by Brad Self across midfield as he just grabbed it out of the air from Kevin Crawley. Yeah, that was a great play there by Self to, to be able to uh, grab that loose ball. It seems like uh, Philadelphia's offense here is really uh, being really real strategic and real methodical here. So it, uh, that might bode well for them. Scooped up on the right wing by Johnny Paulus over to Joe Walters, one-on-one -on -one with Joel White. Walters in the slot, gives it over to Dan Dawson, looks. Still has it through the screen, the shot, kick, save, rebound, grabbed out of the air. The shot from down low is swatted away out of the stick of Joel McCready, who made a great play to grab it out of the air. And the outlet pass, Philadelphia now walking it across midfield, opening two minutes of the first quarter. We're scoreless here from the Blue Cross Arena. Rochester was 2-1 and one against Philadelphia this season. Their only loss was here on their home turf. But the other two victories, a win by 10 goals and a win by 7 goals. Mundorf gives it down low. Fed up top by Ross. The shot by Rabel goes wide. Grabbed by Crawley on the left wing. His shot is ripped wide of the net. And now Jimmy Purvis and Kevin Crawley having some words on the other side of the floor. We've got a penalty coming up. Yeah, it looks like there's a penalty to Rochester here. I'm not quite sure what, uh, what that was. It looks like Joel McCready's going to the box for two minutes for something. So Philadelphia will go on the man advantage. Too many men on the field for Rochester. So Rochester, the second best penalty kill killing unit during the regular season. Hall gives it over to Ross, passes it down low. Now brought back up top in the slot to Hall. Left wing side to Westervelt off the stick of Jordan Hall. And that one goes out of play. Rochester will take over. As Dawson gives it ahead now to Jamison. That's Paul Dawson, the younger of the Dawson brothers. Now Dan Dawson gives it across to Jamison. Led the team in points with 89, which is a new career high. Also had 61 assists, second best in single season team history, trailing only Sean Williams, 2009 mark of 67. Dan Dawson has it on the left wing side. Fires it across now to Jamison. Trying to take it in on goal, one hands it on goal. And Miller makes the save. That one is scooped on up by Brody Merrill. Merrill looking up the floor. Just able to avoid the eight second call. Yeah, that was real close to an eight second call for sure. Fed on over now to Jordan Hall. Left wing side to Crawley. Passes it down low. Westervelt to Crawley. Now over to Mundorf. Looking still with it. Up top now to Jordan Hall, feeds it over now to Mundorf in the slot. He has it stripped away by the team captain, Sid Smith. Across midfield he comes, draws the double, then the triple, and the ball squirts free. Mundorf feeds it on ahead, 11-18 to go, opening quarter, 30 seconds left in the Rochester penalty. And we are scoreless here from the Blue Cross Arena. Beautiful 70-degree day 
here in Rochester, New York. Up top now to Hall, swings it over to Crawley. Down low to Westervelt, Crawley to Hall. Back to Crawley, down low to Ross. Ross, I thought he, he looked up like it had hit the no goal crease violation, but Ross looked up like it had hit the netting above the net, yeah, above the glass, and he stopped playing. Yeah, I'm not quite sure that he knew where that ball was, so he just grabbed the ball and uh, continued going on to the net there. He dunked it in from behind, but a crease violation called. Now Jamison on the offense for Rochester in front of the net, and that's off the stick of Joel McCready. Pat Heim goes after it. McCready is being called for a loose ball push. You see, went over the back of Pat Heim. Heim gives it on ahead to Buchanan. 10.20 to go here in the first. Over now to Brendan Mundorf. Mundorf trying to get free. Over now on the left wing side. That shot is knocked down and grabbed by Matt Vince. He's got a man breaking down the turf. He hits off in stride. He's got a trailer, a Kersey. A Kersey in front of the shot. Oh, stick saved by Brandon Miller. Yeah, that was a great save there by Brandon Miller. And Brandon Miller is going to be a key to this game, definitely for sure. He needs to come out strong and needs to, uh, needs to play his game here in order for Philadelphia to have any chance against the Rochester Nighthawks tonight. Brandon Miller playing in his career game, number 175, 0-2 lifetime in the postseason. The shot, and Matt Vince makes the save as he got the left pad out. They battle for it on the half wall. Evans is knocked down. Two other Nighthawks converge as they try to dig it out. And that one is grabbed by Jordan Hall. Jordan Hall gives it down the near boards. Philadelphia with possession. Fired across now to Paul Rabel. Rabel has it on the left wing side. Flips it in front of the net and Mike McClellan couldn't find it. And it is scooped up. And back down the floor they come is Jimmy Purvis. Has it on the right wing side, gives it to Paulus. Paulus has run into, knocks the ball away, but Purvis is there to scoop it on up. Well, his Twitter handle is Ballhawk, so Ed Reed is one of his idols. And right there, he grabbed that loose ball. The shot from the outside, he scores! Dan Dawson makes it 1-0. That was just a great effort there by Jimmy Purvis to be able to uh, have a transition down the floor. And he he made a pass to Johnny Pallas, and, and it was obviously taken away there, but the, it was just a great individual play, and Dan Dawson ends up with the ball, and he gets time and space to shoot that ball over the over the shoulder of, of Brandon Miller, and that's just a great shot by Dan Dawson. He's been, I know Dan's been working on his shot the last little last uh, couple of weeks and really focused on, on hitting the net and, and getting the ball where, to where it needs to be, so that was just a great shot by, by Dan Dawson. His 40th career playoff goal for Dan Dawson in his 16th. Playoff game in his illustrious career, 8.50 to go. The Nighthawks out in front, 1-0. We'll be back in the Nighthawks Broadcast Network. And Dawson with the assist to number 28, Stephen Keogh. And number 88, Cody Jamison. That's Dawson from Keogh and Jamison at 6.07. It pays to be an early bird with the Rochester Nighthawks, taking advantage of special early bird seeking locations and pricing for the 2014 season. For more info, give the Nighthawks a call at 454-HAWK or visit us at nighthawks.com. Purchase your season tickets for the 2014 season at the early bird pricing before time runs out. Fans, don't forget the zone is offering the special item of the night promotion for two night only, all Hawk merchandise 50% off. Stop down and visit the team store, The Zone, located down in the lower level lobby next to the box office. Hey everybody, Newman here up in section 105. I picked two lucky K-Hawk fans here at random. Look at Reed and Colton here. They got their sticks, this autographed jersey. Thanks for coming out tonight. We got this for you. A stand-up J-Dub, Joe Walters, life-size cutout. Congratulations, thanks for supporting the Hawks. Everyone remember, we're on national TV tonight, so let's make some noise and let's send a message to the entire nation that Rochester, New York is Lacrosse Town, USA.
Tonight, the Rochester Nighthawks honor the top performances from the 2013 National Lacrosse League season. This Ford has added another trophy to his collection by capturing the Tim Hortons Unsung Hero Award for the second straight year. He becomes the first back-to-back -back winner since current head coach Mike Hazen accomplished that feat as a player from 2000 to 2002. This year's Tim Hortons Unsung Hero Award goes to Corey Vitarelli. an opportunity to play like Stephen Keogh who has picked up his game as of late. Cody Jamison number 88 and Teal will start it up for the Rochester Nighthawks. Third year in the National Lacrosse League for Cody, former first overall pick. Won a national championship with Syracuse, won a Minto Cup with Six Nations, has won a Champions Cup. There's not too many trophies that he doesn't have and when you go into his home his trophy case is actually quite modest. He doesn't like to celebrate all that stuff and put it on display. I was giving him a hard time telling him, you gotta put all that stuff up, man. Fill up that bookshelf. Yeah, no, he's not one of those guys. He, I know he doesn't flaunt things and uh, that's just his personality. He likes to keep a little bit low key and, and uh, you know, just, just be a part of the team and, and be able to uh, grow and, and lead a team. So that's good, good for him. Micah Kersey gives it over now on the near boards to Dan Dawson in front to Jamison. Jamison has it behind the net. Watch there by Brett Manny. Feeds it in front. The shot kick saved by Miller. And Brandon Miller has played very well here in the early going. Rochester leads 1-0. And the goal by former wing Dan Dawson. Waiting for some offensive help. It's Mundorf, Westervelt, Rabel, Buchanan. All four of them played on Team USA in 2011 in Prague. Mundorf over. Westervelt shot, save, rebound. And it's scooped up by Jimmy Purvis. Purvis now running up the floor. Still with it. He's got a lot of real estate in front of him. Purvis feeds it over to Craig Point, who had four goals and one assist and the one goal win over Buffalo to get Rochester in the playoffs. Jamison across to Point. In front the shot, he hit the crossbar. And that one is swatted down and grabbed on the near boards and fed up top to Paulus as Stephen Keogh doing some dirty work. Point, winds, fires the shot he missed. It hit him in the back and nearly went in. And that's going to be a crease call as Craig Point shot very nearly banked in off of Brandon Miller. Yeah, and they just called a crease call there, and uh, I don't think Pointer actually picked the ball up in, in the crease, and they blew it, blew it down already. He did not. No. He was waiting oh. for some backside help as he was trying to shield the defender. Over and out to Ross. Feeds the ball down low to Hall in the slot. The shot, and Crawley missed the net. Crawley oh. slid in. He was wide open. Ross now feeds it in front. The behind-the-back shot, but a crease violation. And the Nighthawks will take over with 6.50 to go here in the first as Scott Self with the ball. He runs in to the Wings defender, and he'll scamper away into Philadelphia territory. Has it over on the far boards. Watched there by Penyan native Mike Manley. On the near boards to Dan Dawson. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Fed up top to Walters to Jamison on the far boards. Jamison trying to take it in on goal and an illegal pick call on Dan Dawson. And it'll go back the other way. 6.20 to go here in the first. one nothing Rochester. Paul Rabel against Scott Campbell. And Rabel trying to shake off Campbell. Westervelt sets the pick. And that's an illegal pick. Wow, that's an illegal pick here. With a three, the three-man system is definitely uh, being it's very, tightening things up. Yeah, it's tightening things up, that's for sure. Jamison on the far boards. Cody Jamison in the slot, fire, save, rebound. And he held on to it as Joel McCready was in search of the loose ball as Miller will flip it on ahead. Philadelphia Wings, second straight postseason berth, second straight time they faced Rochester in the first round. Flipped over to Rabel. Now on the left wing side, Crawley. Crawley trying to pull his way through. He lost the handle on it. And Brad Self had it stripped away. Burton going after it. Burton grabs it, takes it into Wings territory. Tyler Burton. 
bounces it on back to Joe Walters. And both of those Nighthawks, very active in the community this week, promoting the game, promoting the anti-bullying campaign, and now they're here playing on Saturday. Walters in on goal, he scores! Joe Walters, it's 2-0. That was just a great individual effort by there by Joe Walters, getting a pick there by John, from Johnny Palace, enabling, enabling him to, to drive to the net and put a shot underneath uh, Brandon Miller's glove. And that was just a great, uh, great individual play there by, by Joe Walters. Walters, who ended the 2013 season with all time highs and goals, assistant points. Right now, that goal unassisted. 2 0 Nighthawks says Joe Walters. Puts a team ahead, and now Evans wins the draw. Skips it on back, and nobody home. And it's going to be Philadelphia possession. Rochester fired it in there, but both D guys, one was expecting the other one to get it, and Rochester turns it over. Yeah, that's for sure. That's just a miscommunication there. It's unfortunate things like that happen in a game, but in a game like a, like a playoff game, yeah, it's, you can't have too many of those. Westerveld in front. The shot by Hall is denied by Matt Vince, they battle for it on the near boards. Grab there by Ross, Ross in on goal, the shot, and that's denied by Vince. Evans picks it up, Hall in pursuit. Bounces it over now to his right to Purvis. And Purvis cannot avoid the eight second violation. And we have a timeout on the turf with 4.39 to go here in the first quarter. Rochester two, Philadelphia nothing. We'll be back on the Nighthawks Broadcast Network. Don't forget to purchase raffle tickets for tonight's 50-50 raffle. Buy one ticket for $2, three for five. Proceeds from tonight's raffle will go to the Rochester Nighthawks Foundation. The raffle will close at halftime, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Whatever you're shopping for, go by Rochester.com. Can help you get it from a local business. Go by Rochester.com. We make shopping local easy. Tonight, the Rochester Nighthawks honor the top performances from the 2013 National Lacrosse League season. The next Nighthawks award is the Bob Johnson Chevrolet Community Service Award. This player has made it four straight seasons that he's been honored for his work in the community. He has led the Rochester Nighthawks in their anti-bullying crusade throughout Rochester and the surrounding communities. Tonight, we honor Joe Walters for his unprecedented success on and off the turf, especially with the We Got Your Back program. The winner of the Bob Johnson Chevrolet Community Service Award, number one, Joe Walters. Arena. Joe Walters named the Community Service Award winner for the fourth straight season. He asked me, who, who won it the year before I won four straight? I go, Chris Schiller. So both hailing from Rochester, New York. Joe's visited roughly 15 schools for the We Got Your Back anti-bullying campaign. You go to nighthawks.com for more information. Tyler Burton and Joe Walters spearheading that campaign. And the Dawson brothers have also come in for some appearances. And Craig Point has actually helped out. He did an anti-bullying event up at his son's school up at Six Nations. So Rochester getting out in the community here in Western New York and in Southern Ontario. Yeah, that's a great uh, great program the Rochester Nighthawks offer for, for communities and, and, and for, for schools within the community. So that's definitely a good, uh, something they give back to. And, uh, you know, obviously those guys are, are, are guys they look up to. And, and uh, it's, uh, it, it's a great cause for sure. And Rochester will have the ball. There's a penalty that was assessed during the timeout to Paul Rabel. 4.39 to go, and Rochester will go on the man advantage. During the regular season, Rochester scored 29 power play goals, converted nearly 50% of their opportunities. 
And now Dan Dawson will give it over to Craig Point. Down low to Akersi. Point up top to Dawson. Now to Jamison. Over now to Paulus. Jamison up top to Dawson. Now to Jamison. Over to Dawson looking. Feeds it in front. The shot. And Miller makes the save. Illegal equipment. I believe I heard as the, uh, the call against Paul Rabel. Fed now to Buchanan. Buchanan trying to get away from Dawson. And Buchanan has it on the far boards. And Rochester picks that one off as Scott Self will flip it on over to Dan Dawson. Dawson now's got a lot of room in front of him over to Akersi on the left wing and Rochester will wait and set up the man advantage. Point to Jamison, to Paulus. Now to Jamison on the right wing, up top Dawson. Looking, now gives it to Akersi. Back to Dawson. Now to Jamison, across to Point, he had him open. Now back to Jamison. Jamison, the shot, that one is kicked away. Settles behind the net. Akersi going after, and that was an awkward fall behind the net by one of the wing's defensemen. Very slow to get up. Maybe Joel White, I think. And that one is rolled back up the far boards to Brody Merrill. And if that is Joel White, he just made his way to the wing's dressing room. Oh, no, well, there isn't. White's right there yeah, on the bench. Yeah, it wasn't Joel White. I thought it looked like him, but it's, it's not him. And Philadelphia now shorthanded. 3.06 to go. And that one is grabbed. Crawley scoops it on up. He's going to roll it into the near corner. Three minutes to go. And Matt Vince will fire it ahead. He set the single season saves record in league history over 660 saves. 662 he finished with. Breaking the record set by Rob Blaisdell back in 2002. That was, that was a prime of your career, Drisky. It was, it was. 2002, that's uh, Toronto Rock won the championship that year. By one goal over, over Albany, in Albany. That's right. Dawson in on goal, the shot, and Miller makes the save. They beat the Nighthawks, actually knocked this off and what was considered an upset. Well, they had a good team. Josh Sanderson was on that team. Blaisdell was on that team. Mike Regan, Gary Rosiski, Jimmy Moss. Yep. Up now to Buchanan. Buchanan gives it in the high slot to Brody Merrill. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Now to Jordan Hall. Hall trying to shake his way free. Hall on the ground, that one is scooped up, rolled through the crease. They're gonna say Vince got a piece of it. Self with a big hit on the far boards. Grabbed by Buchanan, bounced over on the left wing side. Philly back at even strength. Buchanan gives it over now to Jordan Hall on the near boards, feeds it in the slot behind the back by Crawley. That goes wide, it's grabbed by Burton. Burton now trying to get away on the near boards. He loses it, gets it right back. Bounces it all across now to Self. Self's gonna grab it. And just able to maintain possession as he gets away from Hartzell. Jimmy Purvis over to Walters. Joe Walters slings it across the point on the near boards now to Joel McCready. McCready in the slot, the shot kick save by Miller. We had a whistle going back the other way and an illegal pick call. 1.18 to go here in the first, two nothing Rochester. 11 to four, the shots on goal in favor of the Nighthawks as Crawley will fire it over. Kevin Crawley this year, the second most shots in the league in the NLL. And he will take the feed over on the left wing side. Crawley, the shot, that one hit the crossbar. Mundorf picks it up and he's gonna bring it back up top. Less than a minute to go here in the first. Over now to Ross, feeds it in front of the net and that's off the stick and now a big hit as Mundorf is drilled down to the turf. I think Scott Campbell caught him, and Campbell's the one that takes the outlet pass. Running into the wing zone, 40 seconds left here in the first. And he'll fire it up top now to Jamison, who has it on the far boards. Jamison now left wing side to Dawson. Dawson with it, trying to get his way in front of the net. Dawson in on goal, the shot he scores! Dan Dawson elevates and beats Miller, it's three nothing. Yes, what a big goal by Dan Dawson. Definitely a uh, great individual effort. He, he, he got a pick from Micah Kersey, so it enabled Dan Dawson to get his six foot, six foot four frame to the net. And he, uh, he launched himself through the air and made a nice shot underneath Brandon Miller's glove hand. So 
that's a great great goal here to go up by three with 25 seconds to go in the uh, in the first quarter. 25 seconds to go. And the faceoff now, a procedure call against Rochester and Philadelphia. Scoops it up as Brody Merrill scooped it up. Philadelphia thought Rochester had the possession and Rochester thought they had possession, but in fact, Philly had it. Crawley over on the left wing side, gives it up to Mundorf to Crawley, shot, and that one is denied by Vincent, also skimmed off the far pipe. They battle for it on the near boards, and that's going to do it after one quarter of play here in Rochester, New York. It's the Nighthawks three, the Wings nothing. We'll be back for second quarter action on the Nighthawks broadcast network. Welcome the hottest dance team in the league, ladies and gentlemen, your Rochester Nightingales. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around. That's right. On top. It's tricky. It's tight. Here we go. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right. On time. It's tricky. It's tricky. 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 It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right. On time. It's tricky. Put your tricky. 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 I met this little girly. Her hair was kind of curly. Went to her house and bust her out. I had to leave. Say is please me or spend some time and rock a rhyme. I said it's not that easy. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. How is it, Dave? It's tricky, tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. In New York, the people talk and try to make us rhyme. They really hawk, but we just walk because we have no. There they are, your Rochester Nightingales. The spa at Corn Hill is the premier full-service spa of the Rochester Nightingales, located at 311 Exchange Boulevard. Turn your hey. phone's ordinary ringtone into your favorite extraordinary Nighthawks highlight with Sport On. Sport On has exclusive NLL highlight video Back tones. To Download your favorite highlight and relive Lead. the big goal or the this superb the save game every time the... your phone rings. Visit nll.sporton.com. Rochester out shooting Philly 11 to 8. And the athletic trainer, Mike Fox, out there. Talking to the one of the officials. And Brandon Miller is heading over now to the Philadelphia bench. He's getting an, a, an equipment adjustment. And I actually, he's not the, you know, Mike Fox is a lot of things. He's actually the equipment manager. He'd probably be mad if he heard me say that, that he was the athletic trainer, but he's actually, in fact, the equipment manager. The equipment manager. He's been there for a lot of years. Been there forever. He was actually the equipment manager for the movie Invincible. He got the suit up Mark Wahlberg. Oh, yeah? Yep. Very he's nice. got a great, great, like, resume. He's worked on different movie sets. He's worked in different leagues. A great guy. And he's, you're right. He has been there forever. Yeah, as far as back as I can think he's been there for the beginning. You might be right. You might be right. Jeez. Like Evans will take the face off to start the second, and that's a procedure call against Dylan Evans. So Reynolds wins the face off, passes it over on the far boards, gives it on back to Brody Merrill, now to Rabel. Rabel's pass grabbed out of the air by Westervelt, now to Mundorf. Mundorf across on the far side. Taken there by Buchanan, runs into Evans, gives it to Westervelt. Over to Mundorf, the shot he scored. Brendan Mundorf bounced that one into the top corner, 
And the wings are on the board, it's three to one. Yeah, that was just a great shot by Mundorf there. He stepped around Scott Campbell and just uh, used him as a screen. And you know, that, that shot's gonna go in on anybody as much as, as well as Matt Vince is playing. Mundorf definitely has a great shot. You give him time and space and, and, don't, and, and allow him to shoot like that, he's gonna score every time he shoots the ball. 22 points in six games for Brendan Mundorf. Sixth season out of UMBC. Former 11th overall pick by the New York Titans. He was teammates with Matt Vince. Back during the New York days and another procedure call against Dylan Evans. I wonder what exactly he's being called for. I think he's trying to uh, get a jump on Reynolds. Reynolds obviously a great uh, faceoff guy. So I think Dylan Evans is trying to get the jump on. Up now to Ross. Ross on the right wing side, flip pass. Now over to Westervelt, the shot, that's knocked down as Ian Lord got a piece of it. Lord will skip it on over to Sid Smith. And he'll give it to Brad Self. Brad Self on the left wing side. Buchanan assisting on that last goal at 21 seconds. And Dawson with it. And Ross also. Jamison over on the left wing side to Dawson. Now to Jamison. Jamison across the shot by Accursi's denied by Miller. So Westervelt actually got that second assist. Not Ross. Three to one is our score, and the shot he scored, Buchanan, it's three to two. Wow, what a shot by Buchanan there. And we all know that he can shoot the ball, and he, he loves to shoot that ball, and he just he just shot that ball on the run and shot it over Matt Vince's uh, shoulder. And that's, again, that's one of those shots that, that not too many goalies is going to save that, save that shot. And, and, and defensively, Rochester gave him time and space to shoot the ball. And they weren't they were out on hands and, and, and forcing him to shoot that ball. So it was, uh, you know, obviously he had a little bit of time and space to, to shoot it. And he can, he can definitely shoot it with the best of them. So Kevin Buchanan assisted on the first goal. He scored the second. Two goals in a minute and 24. And Philadelphia is within one. Rochester's lead just three to two now. As Westervelt has it on the left wing side, gives it across to Ross, flips it up top. Hall in on goal, the shot, he missed wide of the net. Grabbed on the near boards. And the Nighthawks trying to take it away as Rabel losing it. And Self taking it away. Brad Self across midfield. Into wings territory, has it at the restraining line. And Self now is going to give it to McCready on the near boards. Joel McCready, who took last year off to focus on being a, fire, a firefighter in Burnaby, B.C. And the Nighthawks are glad to have him back this year. Walters over to Keogh. Now to Point down low on the left wing. Craig Point looks, fires a shot, and that's an illegal pick. And the wings will take over as Drew Westervelt will pick it on up. Fires it over on the left wing side as the wings now get their offense out there as Buchanan feeds to Mundorf. Mundorf in the slot. That's in and out of the stick of Buchanan. And Kirk will take it away and feed it up the floor. Up to Dylan Evans looking. Fires the shot over the top of the net. Hollis going after. Taps it over to Jamison. Jamison now to Dan Dawson. Dawson has it on the left wing side. Looking, spinning in front, Dawson, the shot, and Miller makes the save. And Dawson on top of Brandon Miller. And everyone is separated, and Philadelphia now will take over with 12.02 to go here in the second quarter as Dawson, a great move to get open, and then forward momentum took him into Miller. You could tell he was just trying to brace himself there and not do any damage to himself or the goalie for Philadelphia. That shot is Aaron, but picked up by Crawley on the left wing. Loses it, picks it back up. Crawley to Westervelt, over now on the far side. Spinning in front, Hall in on goal, the shot. And that one is grabbed off the end board. Self loses it for a moment. And Brad Self will scoop it up. Scott Jamison with him. Jamison shot, he scores! Cody Jamison in transition. It's four to two. That was a great shot there by Cody Jamison. Uh, he just received a great pass from Brad Self, breaking down, breaking down the left side there. And 
and uh, made a great pass to, to Cody Jamison, who, who buried that short side. He kind of made a nice fake and, and far side, short side shot, and it was, it was a great shot by Cody Jamison. So Cody Jamison with his first of the postseason is the MVP of the championship game last year. 3.33 the time of the goal, and the Nighthawks in the lead 4-2. to two. As we get set to take the draw as Reynolds will win that one cleanly. Back to Manley. Now over to Merrill. And Brody Merrill will give it to Mike McClellan. Has it on the near boards and he'll loft it up top to Brendan Mundorf. Mundorf on the right wing side, guarded there by Evans. Fed over to Westervelt, looking, the shot he scored. Drew Westervelt with a rocket over the left shoulder of Vince, it's 4-3. Yeah, that was a great shot by Drew Westervelt. And, and again, he got time and space. And when you give guys like that time and space to shoot the ball, they're gonna put the ball in every time. And that was another one of those nice goals that went in the exact same spot as the first two shots went in. So that might be something Matt Vince is thinking about that uh, they're trying to shoot over, over top of his shoulder. But we'll, uh, we'll, see, how, uh, we'll see how he adapts and, and, and changes his style of play here. 11.04 to go here in the second quarter. Philly outscoring the Nighthawks 3-1. to one. Rochester with a one-goal lead. Burton flips that one back, and he wins the draw. Smith gets it, gives it over to Ian Lord across midfield. He'll feed it now to Jamison. Jamison backing his way in toward Miller. Still has it. Getting away in front the shot and a toe save as it was kicked out with the left foot by Miller. McCready over to Keogh. Keogh trying to get free. Penalty up coming to Philly. Keogh's going to hang on to it, waiting for Vince to get off the floor for the extra attacker on the delayed penalty. A cursey now out there for Rochester. Up top to Jamison to Walters. Across the shot, and that one is knocked away. Jamison going after it. Scoops it on up. Over now to Paulus. The shot, that's deflected wide. Grab shot, and that actually goes off a Wings defender and out of play. And a penalty up coming to Philadelphia. Rochester will go on the man advantage. They are 0 for 1 this evening. They lead 4 to 3 over the Philadelphia Wings. 10 14 to go here in the second. Yeah, it's a great opportunity here for Rochester to get up by two. You know, get their power play going and, and, and make a nice, uh, nice. obviously get their offense offense clicking a little bit more here. Oh, Craig Point down low to Akersey. Point up top to Dawson, who's got two goals. Jamison to Paulus, back to Jamison. Up top to Dawson, back to Jamison. Jamison to Dawson, gives it over now to Craig Point. Point trying to grab it off the end boards, but he was shielded away from the ball by Mike Manley. Now wafted down the floor. Fed in front, Westervelt the shot, he scored. Drew Westervelt in transition, we're tied at four. Wow, that was just a uh, real nice play there by, by, by Brody Merrill to hit, hit Westervelt breaking towards the net. And you know what, that's something that, uh, that Rochester really has to identify. And uh, yeah, I think that, uh, think that it may be a, uh, Maybe a crease call there? No, I don't think so. Oh, I think, I think that was a think, good goal. I think Coach Hazen was looking looking for uh, looking for his pocket, but I'm not sure that that seemed like a good goal. So it was probably a good call on his part. So a short-handed goal by Philadelphia, and we are all tied up. Westervelt with the last two. It's the battle of the big men. Westervelt with two. Dawson with two. Jamison on the near boards. We're tied up four to four here in the second. Point looking gives it up top to Dawson. Dawson. Over now to Paulus. Dawson, the shot, he scored! Dangerous, Dan Dawson, it's 5-4. That's a great response to a, to a short-handed goal. Sometimes when you get a short-handed goal like that, it, 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 it gains, you gain momentum as a, as a team and, and moving forward into the game. And, and that's a great way to answer, answer that for sure. And that was a, just a real nice shot there by Dan Dawson to put them up by, put them up by one. As we said, now Dawson with his third of the game. Nine twenty to go here in the second quarter, and Sid Smith across midfield. Walters takes the pass and gives it down the near boards to Jamison. Jamison back up top to Paulus. 
Over now on the left wing side, Keel. Keel looking, trying to get separation with Joel White, former teammates at Syracuse. Up top now to McCready, gives it over the shot, and that's knocked away and goes out of play. Rochester will maintain possession. When we come back, 8.50 to go, second quarter, Rochester 5, Philly 4. We'll be back in the Nighthawks broadcast network. Don't forget to purchase raffle tickets for tonight's 50-50 raffle. Buy one ticket for $2 or three for five. Proceeds from tonight's raffle will go to the Nighthawks Foundation. The raffle will close at halftime, so don't delay and get your tickets now. Follow your favorite Nighthawks on and off the field. Join the conversation on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for special news stories, ticket deals, and much more. Stay connected to your Nighthawks all season long. It pays to be an early bird with the Rochester Nighthawks. Take advantage of special early bird seating locations and prices for the 2014 season. For more info, give the Nighthawks a call at 454-HAWK or visit us at nighthawks.com. Purchase your season tickets for the 2014 season at the early bird pricing before time runs out. All right, pucker up Nighthawk fans, it's time for the Kiss Cam brought to you by Kiss 106.7. All right, everybody, look alive. It's kiss cam time. Well, I don't know if all that's true, because you got me. Hey, you, black shirt, black hat. Oh, uh, come on, lay one on her. There you go. I got you, babe. There's some lovebirds. I got uh -huh. you, First date. They say I love there he is wearing our Boy Scout camo jersey. Come on. Hey. I guess that's so we don't have a Oh, that must be his parents. All right. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I've got flowers. The I got you to there you go. There's some love birds. Look at that couple. Oh, come on. How about a little bit? Here's your chance, pal. Here's your chance. There you go. Then put your little hand in mine. For Philadelphia for the East Division Finals. 8.50 to go here in the second. 5-4 to four, Rochester. It was 3 to nothing. And then it was 4-4 four to four, as Westervelt with two straight goals. 356 and then the second at 511. And Rochester now, Walters gives it to Paulus. Over to Jamison, left wing side to Akersey. Akersey up top to Paulus. Now back to Akersey on the half wall to Dawson against Hartzell. In front to Akersey, grabbed now by Jamison. Jamison looking, still with it. Jamison trying to get toward the cage. He is shaking up. And Jamison hobbling off the floor. That's not a good sign as Jamison now heading to the Rochester locker room. No, well, he seemed like he, uh, he, he wrenched, his, wrenched his ankle or something there. So hopefully that's not uh, something that, uh, that's going to hinder him. Up to Crowley, the shot save, rebound. And then he turns around and flings it wide. That ball now is grabbed and taken across midfield by Campbell. And all he's got staring in front of him are white jerseys, so he's going to put on the brakes and give it the point. 7.48 to go here in the first half. 5-4 Rochester, point has it on the left wing. The shot, he rips that one wide, skims off the glass across midfield, and that's an over and back violation. Philadelphia will take over to the right of Matt Vince. Chad Weedmeyer now with the ball, product of Princeton University. He's the first player to ever 
win all Ivy selection all four years while he was over at Princeton. The shot goes wide as Crawley's shot is deflected into the near corner. Crawley playing his college ball at Stony Brook. And that fed over now on the far boards. Fired over now to Crawley. The shot, save, and Vince will hang on. Vince now ahead to Brad Self. Into the wing zone. Still with it. He's named the transition player of the year this past summer for the Peterborough Lakers. Now to Paulus. Paulus in on goal, the shot, save, rebound. Man, McCready coming up with it, gives it back to Dawson. Dan Dawson passes it over now to Walters. Walters, stutter steps, has it in the slot. Wide open, Paulus, the shot, he hit the crossbar. Picked up now by Joe Walters. Fires it over left wing side to Dawson. Dawson to Walters on the near boards. Joe Walters in the slot. Still with it, fighting off his defender. In front of the net, that's gonna be an illegal pick on Rochester and the wings will take over. That one fed across midfield. And the Wings now trailing five to four, have possession with six minutes to go here in the second. They've outscored Rochester four to two here in the second. Mundorf with it, fires it over to Westervelt. He's got two goals tonight. That low shot is denied by Vince. And he'll fire it on ahead to Jimmy Purvis. Was acquired from Buffalo in a draft day trade. Purvis now walking in on goal, feeds it over to Paulus. And that one is tapped behind the net. I think Paulus thought Purvis was going to take it right to the cage. Yeah, it was a great play by Purvis. He drove, obviously drove the, drove the net, and the defender actually took him, and he, he made a pass over to Johnny Paulus. It was just kind of tough for him to catch there, but it was, uh, you know, obviously the, the, it was the thought that counted. Burton stands up his man, but Buchanan gets free. The shot, that's a crease call. And Rochester will take over. 5.16 to go here in the second. The Nighthawks up by one. Fired over now to Micah Kersey. Self comes back to scoop it up. Now to Johnny Paulus. Paulus backing his way in. Still with it. Now to Walters. Left wing side to Dawson. Dawson looking, looking, still with it, still with it, in on goal, he scored! Dan Dawson, it's 6-4. And that's why the Rochester Nighthawks acquired Dan Dawson, just for, just for, the, just for these games, for the big games, uh, to, to lead this offense into the, uh, in, into, into the next level. And that's something that Dan Dawson has definitely done. He stepped up his game here. He's a, he's a big time player, he's a big, he, he, he loves these playoff time, and, and, and he performs when it's when it's playoff time. So that was just a great individual effort there by Dan Dawson to get his fourth goal of the game. 10-10, the time of the goal. Dan Dawson this year, second on the team in points, second in assists, 52, second in points, 75. Off the faceoff, and that one is scooped up by the wings. Grab down the near boards. And that's taken by Manley, who gives it on back. Taken there by Ned Crotty. His Rattlers will face off at 7.30 tonight down in Florida. As the other league, the MLL starts today. That shot goes wide of the net. They battle for it on the near boards. Self is in there, Kirk's in there, Dawson's in there. And a shot clock violation. It's gonna be Rochester ball. When we come back, 4.14 to go here in the second. Rochester six, Philly four. We'll be back on the Nighthawks Broadcast Network.
tonight, the Rochester Nighthawks honor the top performances from the 2013 National Lacrosse League season. The final award tonight is the Seneca Niagara Casino and Hotel Most Improved Player Award. The second year pro has earned the distinction of being the most improved player this season. The hard hitting defenseman has collected 18 loose balls and delivered numerous punishing go. checks this season. Tell Gary that they're starting to load up now. Tell Gary they're starting to load up. Welcome back to the Blue Cross Arena. 4.14 to go and a young fan enjoying the game. <laughs> I said a head muffs there. <laughs> 4.14 to go, and the Nighthawks in the lead, 6-4. to four. Dan Dawson with four goals this evening. And I have yet to see Cody Jamison on the bench, Trisky. He left with an apparent injury as he limped off the floor. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think we're going to see him for the rest of this half. No, because the uh, our athletic therapist is uh, definitely he's on the on the bench, so he's maybe just in the dressing room icing icing it up. Twenty to fifteen are the shots on goal. Dan Dawson, as we said, having the big game thus far for Rochester. Four goals for the Rochester Nighthawks. The former Philadelphia wing. Involved in that blockbuster trade, December 15th. And with Jamison now being absent, I know they're going to have to count on some of what they call their secondary scores. Walters has it, gives it over now to a Kersey. A Kersey up top to Johnny Paulus. Less than four to go here in the first half. Now to Walters. Walters in the slot to a Kersey who's hit while he was shooting, and that one goes over the glass and into the crowd. So he was pressured by the Wings defender, and he bounced that one over the glass as Brett Manny was a defender who caused that Aaron shot, and Mundorf now has it on the right wing side looking, fires the shot over the top of the net. Hits a stick in front. That one is grabbed by Scott Self, and picked up now by Rabel as they steal it away. That over now on the right wing side, 3.20 to go as Crawley takes the bounce pass. Trying to drive hard to the net, pulls it back up top, the shot, and that one's wide off the stick of Ian Lord. And he still battle for it, and Burton goes in there, and he's clearing out bodies. That one rolls around the net, and Smith is going to try to scoop it up. Smith with it, trying to draw the shot clock violation, and Rochester is able to... Get it on ahead to Scott Self. Self against Hyman Karate. Scott Self takes a shot right in the face mask. Still has it, and he gives it over now to Dan Dawson. Dawson on the left wing, watched there by Ned Karate. Dawson gets away from one man. In front of the net now, grabbed by Johnny Paulus. Flip pass on the boards to Walters, the shot, and Miller makes the save. 2.20 to go here in the second as Joel White feeds it on ahead. Passed over now to Buchanan on the left wing side. Buchanan behind the net. Trying to shake off Mike Kirk as he gives it to Mundorf. Over on the left wing side off the stick of Westervelt and grabbed out of the air by Paul Dawson. Headman pass now to Purvis. Hits Walters. Walters has it deep in wings territory. Less than two minutes remaining. Walters on the half wall. As Rochester will get Dan Dawson out on the turf. They were teammates in Brampton for two years. Walters posting up the shot, and that one is denied as it's pinned to the left pad. As Brandon Miller now will fire it ahead. That was just a great save by Brandon Miller, and obviously he's having a, he's having a pretty good game here tonight, giving Philadelphia an opportunity to get back into this game. So that's something that, uh, that Rochester's really got to identify, and we really got to go at Brandon Miller to try and uh, get up by, by three or four here. Crawley now trying to get away from Burton. Feeds it over on the right wing to Jordan Hall. Flip pass up top. 
Merrill grabs it, the shot, Vince the save, and it trickles wide, and the rebound grabbed by Brad Self. Self across midfield. 22 points in 16 games this year for Brad Self. Now hits point and strike, the shot, save, rebound, point picks it right up. And he'll feed it on back to Brad Self. Less than a minute to go here in the first half as Dawson takes the feed on the far boards. Dan Dawson with it, looking for the open man. Trying to get away from Sweeney. Over now to Johnny Paulus. That one is batted at. Paulus trying to scoop it up. Being held up and he's gonna flip it into the near corner. 31.2 to go. Miller is gonna to signal to the Philadelphia bench. And it looks like they're trying to call a timeout and the Wings get it. As the Wings now with 25.6 to go here in the first half. And Rochester leading by two, six to four. And the Rochester Nighthawks, and again, the big story is if we'll see Cody Jamison back in the second half. I'm not sure if we're gonna, uh, I don't know for sure, but he, he went off and looked like he was pretty pretty sore and uh, pretty banged up. So hopefully hopefully he, he is back, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was if he was done for the game. So Rochester with three in the first, three in the second. Philadelphia shut out in the first, four in the second. And Rochester with a two goal lead and trying to maintain that going into the third quarter. And the net to our right is empty. As Matt Vince now will head back in goal for Rochester. 8.03 save percentage this year. That set a team record. Yeah, Matt Vince definitely, he, uh, he's, he was unbelievable this, this year. And uh, I don't think it was, if it wasn't for Rochester, we probably, uh, or it wasn't for Matt Vince, Rochester probably wouldn't be in this situation right now. Because uh, That is true. He is definitely, definitely the MVP of this uh, of this team this year. And, uh, you know, I'm not taking anything away from the, the Rochester defense either. You know, they're, they're, they're a good bunch of, uh, good bunch of D guys and and uh, but Matt Vince definitely was the uh, he was the difference that's for sure. Crawley has it feeds it over to Mundorf on the feeds it behind the net it's fumbled picked up by Rabel and his scoop pass is knocked away that was intended for Westervelt behind the net for the dunk opportunity he mishandled it kicked it in front and then Rabel couldn't do anything with it as he just flipped it in the slot and the horn sounds to end the first half of play. Rochester 6, Philadelphia 4. We'll be back with a halftime report in a moment on the Nighthawks Broadcast Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the turf lacrosse players to be an early bird with the Rochester Nighthawks. With another exciting year of Nighthawks lacrosse coming to a close, it's never too soon to start thinking about next season. Take advantage of special early bird seating locations and pricing for the 2014 season. For more information, give us a call at 454-HAWK. That's 454-4295. Or visit us at nighthawks.com. Purchase your season tickets for 2014 at an early bird price before time runs out. Thunder Tribe, the charge of your need. 
The Distillery, one of Rochester's best loved restaurants for lunch, dinner, and late night, with four convenient locations, has become the choice destination for family and friends to gather and enjoy the perfect combination of delicious food, thirst quenching brews, unpretentious service, a warm, friendly, high energy atmosphere, and great value. All combined to make the Distillery a truly local experience. Join us after the game to satisfy your thirst or grab a bite to eat. The Distillery. Tap into good times at all four locations and at thedistillery.com. When it comes to hospitality and hosting important events in Rochester, the Radisson Hotel Rochester Riverside is where people find comfort and convenience from corporate meetings and conventions to weddings and weekend getaways. Stop into Legends Bar and Grill for nightly specials and your favorite game. The newly renovated Radisson Hotel Rochester Riverside promises to make your next event extraordinary. Radisson Hotel, Rochester Riverside, where Rochester's hospitality shines the brightest. I have been bullied. It is estimated that about 30% of students in 6th through 10th grade in the United States are involved in bullying on a regular basis. We are here to help. In conjunction with Hurricanes Lacrosse, the Nighthawks will share the We Got Your Back anti-bullying message. We will come to your school and share our personal stories with the students. Go to nighthawks.com to sign up your school. We got your back. Hi, I'm Cody Jameson, and I would like to wish a very happy birthday to the following fans. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the youth lacrosse players from our local area. the thrill of anticipation. A feeling so incredible, so indulgent, that you simply can't help but let it all out. It all feels so perfect. Why keep it to yourself? Seneca Niagara Casino and Hotel. Excitement worth sharing. Hi, I'm Stephanie Eide, and if you're in the market for a Mazda, you have a new choice of where to get it. We'd love to meet you here at the all-new Dick Eyed Mazda in Penfield. 
just off of 441, directly in front of our Honda store. Come see us. We strive to give you the best Mazda buying experience around, all the great Dick Eyed benefits, our rewards card, free oil changes and loaner cars, and much more can be had at Dick Eyed Mazda. We look forward to meeting you at Dick Eyed Mazda in Penfield.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your Rochester Nighthawks. Welcome back to the Blue Cross Arena. Rochester in the lead six to four. I'd like to welcome one of our listeners in from out west, Ted Jenner, who is the host of Off the Crossbar. Did a great interview with our owner and general manager, Kurt Styers, that you can find on ilindoor.com and also on nighthawks.com. So I'm sure he's getting ready for that big tilt out in Washington as they'll host the Edmonton Rush. Isn't that game in Edmonton? Washington, because Edmonton lost. So they lost in overtime, so oh. Washington's uh, one of the host teams. Got it, got it. So Rochester will go right to left. Those of you who are listening on the radio dial or are on your handheld device or on your laptop computer, and then Philadelphia will go left to right, Rochester right to left. And you were saying, Drisky, that there's a player that's not out there for Rochester, and that is Cody Jamison. Yeah, I see Cody Jamison not back on the bench here, so uh, obviously something that, uh, you know, some, something definitely is, is going on with Cody Jamison. I'm sure, he's, uh, I'm sure he's fine. It might be just a precautionary thing that, uh, you know, Rochester's uh, training staff and, and coaches are, are just looking forward to, uh, to maybe, maybe next week and uh, maybe just holding them back just to, uh, just to make sure that everything's, everything's going okay. 22 to 16 are the shots on goal. Dylan Evans will take the face off. I know they mixed in Tyler Burton and Scott Self in that first half of play. Evans winning two face offs out of six attempts against Reynolds, who has won seven to 12 this evening. And here we go, the start of the second half of play. Reynolds against Evans. They spin around, and that is flipped up as McCready goes after it against Manley. Now Paul Dawson trying to take it away, and Manley muscles his way away from two defenders, and now a penalty coming up as Dylan Evans is drilled down to the turf. After he knocked down Mike Manley, this just 20 seconds into the Second quarter, and Evans has to go to the other the other penalty box. And we'll see what the call is going to be, a high-sticking call. Yeah, I hope that's not one of those five-minute high-sticking calls to the uh, to you. It looks and like, it is. It it's like a five-minute call on Dylan Evans. Yeah, this is this is a real timely penalty to get a, a five minute early early in the early in the third quarter here. So hopefully Rochester's uh, penalty kill here can definitely definitely kill us off. Not a good way to start the second half for Rochester as they work it around the horn as Crawley has it in the high slot. Now over to Ross. Feeds it in front. The shot by Mundorf and a crease violation. It'll be Rochester possession. Rochester fired down the floor. Grab by Dawson. The shot he hit the crossbar. And that's going to be an illegal, an illegal push. So Rochester will take over. It was like a layup in basketball. Yeah, most definitely. I think he was calling calling off the pass, but uh, it seemed like uh, whoever threw him the ball there. That was, was his brother, Paul. Oh, that was Paul. It's like in the backyard. I guess he must have said, well, you can catch this. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> threw that. It was about nine feet in the air. He grabbed it in stride and hit the crossbar. Rochester now the ball. A Kersey's pass. It was intended for a Kersey as Walters was the one who fed it in front, and that's grabbed and taken into Rochester territory. Opening minutes of the third quarter, Rochester 6, Philly 4, on a five-minute power play after Dylan Evans was called for a high-sticking penalty. Mundorf now in the high slot to Hall. 
the shot, that's knocked down. Sid Smith going after it, and that's grabbed on the half wall by Mundorf. The shot, and that one is knocked away as the shot clock was about to expire. Ross got the shot off and got his own rebound. They reset their power play. Hall gives it over on the left wing to Crawley. Back to Hall. Over to Crawley on the left wing. Looking, now back to Hall. Right wing side, Mundorf. Back up to Jordan Hall. The shot, he hit the crossbar. That one's going to skip across midfield where it is corralled by Kevin Crawley. Former first overall pick in the NLL. Now a second year pro out of New Westminster. Dumps it behind the net. Taken there by Ross. Over to Hall. Now to Crawley. The shot, he scored. And Paul Dawson didn't like something. Now he knocks his man down to the ground. And that power play goal makes it six to five. It looks like Paul, uh, Paul Dawson here has taken a, uh, taken a penalty. Hopefully they take the uh, Philadelphia wing player just to, uh, just to even things up and, and, and uh, allow, allow Rochester to just, just be a, uh, a five on four here still. So six to five, Crawley with his first goal of the game. Yeah, and that shot again. That was a uh, another nice shot by Crawley. And again, you know, he had he had time and space to shoot that ball, and he made a nice. Uh, it was a real nice shot over over the shoulder of Matt Vince, and that seems to be the uh, that seems to be the uh, uh, where where most of the Philadelphia guys have been shooting the ball is, is is high over over Matt Vince's shoulder. So hopefully Matt Vince can definitely uh, definitely adapt and, and see that they're they're shooting the ball there. 3.13 to go on the penalty to Dylan Evans. And Crawley in the box for Philly and Paul Dawson in the penalty box for Rochester. Well, it'll be a five on, still five on four. It's coincidental penalties being handed out. And Scott Self will take the draw against Reynolds. One ahead by Jeff Reynolds. And Philly now will get their power play unit back on the turf, looking to tie things up. They trail by a goal. Fed over now on the near boards to Ross. Ross has Mundorf behind him, and he gives it to Brendan Mundorf. In the high slot to Hall. Over to Westervelt. Back to Hall, who gives it to Westervelt. Looking, fires it across now to Ross. Up top to Mundorf. His low pass scooped up by Westervelt. Backing his way in, now gives it the hole, oh, the shot. That one is knocked down in a shot clock violation. And Rochester will take over. That low pass is scooped up by Brad Self, gets away from Jordan Hall, and he'll roll it on back to Joe Walters. Two and a half to go in the penalty. And Philadelphia has converted once. And a shot thrown at Brad Self. And the Nighthawks fans wanted a call there. Walters over to Keough on the left wing, gives it back to Joe Walters. Now over to Craig Point as they feed it over to Walters on the far boards. Now to McCready, and that is a shot clock violation, and Brody Merrill will take over. Merrill flip pass to Westervelt. And Drew Westervelt looking. Faked like he was going to take the shot, and he gives it up now to Jordan Hall, now to Westervelt. Back up top to Hall, to Mundorf. Down low to Ross. Now to Mundorf, right wing. Up top to Hall, down low to Westervelt as they work it around the perimeter. Hall over to Westervelt. Gives it in front, the shot. Save, rebound, Smith going after it. Scooped up by Mundorf, and a fresh 30. Mundorf takes the feed in the high slot. Gives it over to Hall. Up top to Mundorf. Gives it now, the shot by Westervelt, bounces over the top of the net, grabbed by Sid Smith, who flips it on over the glass and into the crowd. And Rochester turns it over, Smith feeling the pressure, fires it out of play. 120 to go in the major penalty as Hall playing catch up top with Westervelt. Westervelt now back to Jordan Hall, that one is knocked down by Sid Smith, but grabbed by Mundorf. Mundorf wanted to take the shot, but he feeds it to Westervelt. The shot, that's knocked away. Rebound grabbed by Mundorf. In the slot, the shot. Vince with a big save. Grabbed by Brad Self. He's got a man with him. That's Kirk. He's also got Dan Dawson. Three on two break for the Nighthawks. Dawson in front, the shot. Save, rebound. And that one is flipped up into the air and grabbed by Brandon Miller. 
And both goalies have definitely come to play tonight. And it's, it's uh, it, you know what, the goalies aren't going to decide this game. I think it's the guy, guys on the floor that uh, offensively that are really going to decide this game tonight because both goalies definitely come to play. And Buchanan has it now on the near side as the Wings work it up top to Hall. The shot, save, rebound, and handcuff Scott Self. And it's grabbed by Matt Vince. Vince's low pass is scooped up by Scott Campbell. Runs it down the far boards, has it in wings territory. In on goal, the shot, he rips it wide of the net. And that one's going to skip across midfield and over and back violation. With 9.49 to go, we'll take a break. Nighthawks hanging on, they lead the wing 6-5. We'll be back in the Nighthawks broadcast network. Want a healthy option for your big party? Call the Parrington Subway for catering options at 223-7260. The Parrington Subway, the official home of the J-Dub Sub. Subway, eat fresh. The 2013 NCAA Men's Lacrosse Championships returned to Philadelphia on May the 25th through the 27th, hosted by Drexel University. Watch the nation's best compete at Lincoln Financial Field. Three days, three championships. It's the ultimate lacrosse experience starting at just $70. Get your tickets today by visiting NCAA.com slash lacrosse. Hey, Nighthawk fans, Noom's up here in section 122. I got my buddy Lou here, longtime season ticket holders, his granddaughter, Kira. Oh, Lou, I'd love for supporting the Hawks all season. We got something for you if you'll turn around. A life-size cutout and none other than number 93, Showtime, Johnny Paulus. Thank you so much for supporting the Hawks. Lou, Lou cut his hair just for tonight's game. Remember, we're live on national TV. When we come back from break, let's be making some noise. Let me hear you, Rochester. Tonight, the Rochester Nighthawks honor the top performances from the 2013 National Lacrosse League season. The next award is the Earthlink Best Defenseman Award. This Rochester Nighthawk has won the award the past three seasons. This year, the Nighthawks captain played in all 16 games and finished first in caused turnovers and fourth in loose balls. The winner this year of the Earthlink Best Defenseman Award is Sid Smith. Smith wins the top defenseman award for the Nighthawks. Team captain, first time he's been a team captain in the NLL, former first overall pick. Yeah, Sid's definitely one of those guys that he's he's matured over the last couple of years. He's uh, you know really stepped up and been a quiet leader. He's not one of those guys that's uh, you know a real raw raw kind of guy in the dressing room. But he leads by example. He's always out to practice, working hard, and every shoot around and every game obviously he gives it his all. And uh, he's he's definitely evolved into one of the top defenders in the NLL. Well, he's out there on the penalty killing unit right now for Rochester, along with. Scott Self, Mike Kirk, and Paul Dawson as it's fed over to Rabel on the left wing side. Six seconds left on the man advantage. Over now to Mundorf. And the Rochester penalty has been released as Evans joins the D. Ross with it now, trying to take it in on goal, and Sid Smith is there to pressure him. Ross feeds it across, grabbed out of the air by Mike Kirk. And he lost the handle on it. Rabel takes it away. That was definitely a play there that Mike Kirk probably wants back. It was just a matter of packing that ball in and, and, and going for a run a little bit, but I think he panicked when he seen three white jerseys come at him. And that one's ripped wide of the net and settles on the back of the net as Kevin Crawley let it go, and the D's been out there a long time, so they definitely need a rest here as yeah. Rochester will go to work offensively. Joe Walters. Over to Campbell, and how big of a role will Joe Walters play in the second half? As Akersey now has it on the left wing side. Akersey looking in front for Dawson. Now he'll give it to Paulus. Over to Walters. Walters looking, tries to bring it up top. He does the shot, he hit the post. Joe Walters clanked it off the iron. Hartzell going after it. He loses his footing. And it's grabbed by Brad Self, who will fire it on over to Johnny Paulus. So Rochester will have another offensive set as Keo now will run out there in favor of Joe Walters. 
Brad Self over now to Paulus. Feeds it to a Kersey. Now to Paulus. Paulus behind the back shot. Save. Rebound. Paulus had it again. Had it stripped away. Keo racing in. He scored! Steven Keo! What a play there by Steven Keo. He just uh, drove, drove the net there and jumped on that loose ball. He was down in his stomach and just kind of kind of flicked the ball towards the net to, to go up by go up by two here. That's definitely a great individual effort. And then he's Stephen Keogh is one of those guys that needs to step up with, with Cody Jamison out, out for the rest of the game here. He's one of those guys that needs to step up and, 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 and contribute. 8.09 to go here in the third quarter. Rochester back in the lead by two. What a great shift for the Rochester Nighthawks. A lot of hard work, and Stephen Keel converts from Paulus at 6.51. And the Wings now have it offensively as Buchanan gives it over on the left wing. Sid Smith and Ian Lord over there. And Lord takes it away, but it's scooped up by Rabel. Rabel trying to get away from Sid Smith. Takes it in on goal, the shot in tight, that's denied by Matt Vince. Brad Self trying to weave his way past Crawley who takes it away. And Kevin Crawley scoops it up, the shot kick saved by Matt Vince. And Paul Dawson gobbles it up and he'll take it through the neutral zone. He gives it over to Dan Dawson. Dan Dawson on the near boards. Over now to Walters. Walters against Sweeney. Walters trying to get free. Now to McCready on the left wing side. McCready in the slot, the shot, and that's kicked away by Miller. And Rochester will keep possession to the right of Brandon Miller. Dawson in the high slot to point. On the far boards to Walters. Walters trying to get away from Sweeney. He's got some room, takes it to the cage. The shot denied by Miller, but a crease violation on Walters. Walters ran out of room there. Miller stayed with him and made the stop. Westervelt trying to get away from Purvis and Paul Dawson. And he'll skip it across now to Ross on the near boards. Ross lofts it up top now to Rabel. Rabel against Purvis, trying to get around Paul Dawson, who slid over to help out. Rabel, Westervelt, shot, stick saved by Vince, grabbed by Campbell, circles his own goal, and he'll fire it on ahead now to Paul Dawson. 6.13 to go here in the third, 7-5 to five Rochester, and Stephen Keogh has possession. He's one of the players that you identified, Drisky, as being one of the secondary scorers who had to step up. Yeah, most definitely. He's uh, and, and you know what? He has. He's, he's bringing some energy out, out in the game. He's setting lots of picks. He's getting loose balls. He's doing what he has to do to contribute as, as part of the Rochester Nighthawk offense. Paulus trying to feed it over to Keel. That one's picked off as the shot clock was about to expire. And the Wings now will take it into Rochester territory as Kevin Crawley has it on the left wing. Crawley's got some room. Gives it over now to Jordan Hall. Now to Rabel trying to go around the Rochester D. Bulls over one man. Puts on the brakes. Gives it to Crawley. Now to Jordan Hall. The pass in front is picked off by Brad Self. He's got Burton going with him. He's got Dan Dawson as well. And Brad Self will wait for the offense to join him. Self against Merrill. So Brad Self is going to stay on there. He's a pretty prolific scorer in his junior A days with the Peterborough Lakers. Oh yeah, Brad Self is one of those guys. He can shoot the ball with the best of them too. You know, he primarily plays transition and plays more defense than offense, but you know what? He's one of those guys, he's got he's got real nice hands, he's got a real real knack for the net, and he's he can, he's, he's real smart. He can he, he plays plays this game real well, and uh, he's something that uh, definitely contributes throughout, throughout the course of the game. Westervelt with the ball after they Grabbed it out of the far corner as Jordan Hall has it, and he'll give it on the left wing side to Crawley. Up top to Buchanan, getting away from one man, but Dylan Evans is able to get back defensively. Crawley, swim move to get free of the shot. That hit a man in front of the net. Evans checks his man off the near glass, and that should be a shot clock violation, and it is. And timeout on the turf. 4.22 to go. 
And the Nighthawks in the lead, 7-5. to five. We'll be back in the Nighthawks broadcast network. Join us at the Legend Sports Bar and Grill, the official home of the Nighthawks. Pre- and post-game parties, two-for-one domestic draft beers with your ticket stub. Legends, a real American sports bar and grill located inside the Radisson Riverside Hotel. The 2013 National Lacrosse League playoffs are on the CBS Sports Network. Tune in and follow the playoffs all the way through the championship game. The CBS Sports Network can be seen locally on your cable provider. For more information, visit NLL.com. NLL games are now airing live on YouTube. You can watch the games live on your PC, laptop, iPad, mobile phone, and on televisions too. Watch the games anywhere and take the NLL wherever you're going. Visit NLL.com for more info. All right, Nighthawk fans, it's time for the smile of the game, brought to you by Dr. Michael Mayer. For over 20 years, Dr. Mayer has been providing quality dental care to the Rochester community. Whenever you see yourself on the big screen on the Jumbotron, let's see those pearly whites. And please visit MayorDental.com. Again, MayorDental.com. Looking for the smile of the game. For over 20 years, Dr. Michael Mayer has been providing quality dental care to the Rochester community. Go where the pros go. Visit MayorDental.com and give your smile game. There you go, ear to ear, buddy, come on. There he is, the smile of the game, looking for you here. <laughs> I know, time flies when you're having fun, huh? Or we can just hold it. <laughs> 4 22 left, 30 to 25, the shots on goal in favor of the Nighthawks, and Paul Day is calling the calling Paulus and Walters over to the bench for a little conference before the restart. Those two play the two-man game so well. For some reason, a second-year, 20-year-old, and a five-year American field player turned indoor player have great chemistry together. Yeah, most definitely. Those two, uh, even even last into last year's run, they, they scored some big goals for, for the Rochester Nighthawks to get them to the championship game. And, uh, you know, it, it's something that those two, I, uh, I watch them in practice and watch them in uh, shoot arounds and games. And, and they got that they got that connection. They got that chemistry that uh, that not a lot of guys do on uh, on 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 teams. Fed over to a Kersey in the slot bounce pass over to point. Now up top to Joe Walters. Walters has it on the far side, looking in front of the net. Walters to Paulus, the shot, save, rebound. A Kersey going after it, but Manley picks it up. And Mike Manley will flip it on ahead to Paul Rabel. 3.48 to go here in the third. Rochester in the lead by two, as Buchanan takes that bounce pass. Up top now to Ross, wings it across on the left wing to Rabel. On the run, the shot, and a left-hand save by Matt Vince as he stuck out his glove to deny the Rabel opportunity. Ross now has it, gives it across on the left wing side to Crawley. Crawley runs into Tyler Burton, feeds it across. That was intended for Ross, grabbed out of the air by Scott Self. Self has Dawson with him, and Scott Self will give it over to Brad Self. And now fed over to Johnny Paulus, who will give it on the far boards to Jimmy Purvis. So everyone getting a crack at the offense. Fed in front of the net, Paulus, the shot denied by Miller. Great play by Purvis, as Purvis gets the ball back now to Dawson. Miller with a huge stop on Johnny Paulus. Dan Dawson on the near boards to Keo. Keo pulling his way in toward the goal. Keo and an illegal pick call on Joel McCready. And Philadelphia will take over with two and a half to go here in the third. 
flip pass by Ned Karate as Westervelt will give it now to Buchanan on the right wing side. Buchanan with it to the left of Vince. Up top now to Ross, left wing side to Westervelt against Paul Dawson. Dawson trying to stand up. Westervelt, the one-handed shot, that goes wide. Now fed behind the net, and that's picked off by Dylan Evans. Evans trying to get across midfield, and he does. As his defender peeled away for a change, and Evans now will give it to Dan Dawson, who will pass it on the near boards to Craig Point, and that one is intercepted by Joel White. The wings now into Rochester territory as Kevin Crawley will take the feed on the left wing side. Crawley trying to get free, does the shot, he scored. Kevin Crawley bursts through the slot and he rips one past Vince, his second of the game at 7-6. Yeah, that was just an individual effort by Crawley who, who, who busted through, through the Nighthawk defense there and shot a, shot a nice bounce shot underneath uh, Matt Vince's stick. And that's something that, uh, you know, the, the secondary defensive, or the secondary uh, D guys, the support guys, need to uh, need to step up and, and, and really uh, identify that that, uh, that the Nighthawk defender was getting beaten. And Crawley, when he gets when he gets to the middle of the floor, he wants to shoot the ball. And, and when he shoots the ball, he shoots the ball real well. So that was a, that was a nice goal by Crawley. Rochester battling off the face off where it's grabbed by Joel White. White now double team, squirts away, and he'll feed it on back. 120 to go. That last goal at 13-23. It is 7-6 Rochester. Rabel with it. The shot. That one is knocked down, and it's scooped up by Scott Campbell. He's got Purvis breaking, and he overshoots Jimmy Purvis. And Miller now will feed it on ahead. And the Wings have the ball with a minute to go. Over on the left wing to Crawley. To Buchanan, now on the near boards to Ross. Ross backing his way in, gives it to Mundorf. Shot, that is denied. And the rebound grabbed by Campbell. Campbell over to Purvis. He's got self on a breakaway. In on goal, the shot, and that's denied by Miller. Miller just denied Brad Self. And Self could have given Rochester back the two-goal lead, but he stands his ground and makes the stop. This is a great battle between both goalies. Matt Vince and Brandon, Brandon Miller are definitely playing at the top of their game right now, and it makes this makes it for a very exciting game. Crawley over to Hall on the near side. 18 seconds left, the shot. That's denied by Vince. Kirk going after the loose ball. They both wipe out in front of the Rochester bench. Fed over now to Westervelt. Crawley with it. They battle for it on the near boards. Three seconds left. That one is rolled on back, and that's going to do it. At the end of three quarters of play, the Rochester Nighthawks hanging tough as they'll take a one-goal lead into the fourth quarter. They lead the wing 7-6. We'll be back on the Nighthawks Broadcast Network. Welcome the hottest dance team in the league. Give it up for your Rochester Nightingales. <laughs> It's 
check this out right here. Do wanna hate on us? Do. do need to ease on up? Do. do wanna act on gut, but do get shut like Flav and Chuck? Chick say she ain't down, but chick backstage when we in town. Uh. She like men on drums. Oh. She wanna hit and run. Right. Yeah, that's the speed, that's what we do, that's who we be. Make some noise for your Rochester Nightingales, the spot. Welcome back Hills. to the Blue Cross Arena. And Rochester leading seven to six. Heading into the fourth quarter. Drisky, and you said that your philosophy on this fourth quarter, you made a bold prediction here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure we're going to say that over the air here, but uh, um, I don't know. It's uh, this is a tight game, and like I said, the uh, both goaltenders are playing playing real well here. And uh, you know, I, I, it seems to be. I think I can. I think I can swing this one. I think the ne next goal is going to win. Next goal is going to win. I know Rochester's up by one, but uh, you know that next goal I think is going to. Uh, it's going to take momentum, and it's going to be something that uh, that either team will will definitely uh, build on. Well, we're about to get. Started here for fourth quarter action. Rochester leading seven to six. And in a half hour, the next game, Washington against Edmonton will kick off the West Division semifinals. And then later on tonight, Colorado and Calgary. And then the lone game on Sunday is Toronto hosting the Minnesota Swarm. So Reynolds will take the face off against Tyler Burton. Of the Nighthawks, Matt Vince tonight has made 24 saves. Brandon Miller has made 26. And in 15 minutes, or maybe more, if we need an extra session, we'll decide the first team that advances to the next round of the postseason. Yeah, most definitely. That's going to be... Uh you know, it's it's going to be in, in 15 minutes here. We're going to uh, we'll we'll see who's going to move on to the semis. So here we go: Tyler Burton for Rochester and Jeff Reynolds of Philadelphia facing off to start the fourth quarter. And here we go: Burton against Reynolds. Reynolds wins it back to Manley. Gives it over now to Ned Karate, who has it in Rochester territory. Nighthawks lead by one as Rabel takes the feed on the near boards. Rabel against Smith, trying to get in front of the net. Feeds it behind the Westervelt. Fires it up top to Mundorf. The shot he scored. Brendan Mundorf, 21 seconds into the fourth. And we are tied at seven. And for Mundorf, that's his second of the game. Yeah, most definitely. That was a uh, that was a real nice shot there by Mundorf, and he had again time and space to shoot that ball. And uh, you know that uh, Rochester's defense defensive player needs to be out on Mundorf. He needs to be in that shooting lane, and he needs to uh, he needs to be out on his hands and, and enable him to shoot the ball like that because his, that's his second second goal. And and uh, you know if he heats up, it's uh, it could be some trouble for the Rochester Nighthawks. So the Wings on a 2-0 run. After Rochester had taken a 7-5 lead, that one is flipped back into Rochester territory where it's grabbed by Matt Vince who fires it on the head to Campbell. Campbell into Philadelphia territory. If you just joined us, Cody Jamison left. He was shaken up in the second quarter and he has not returned. He left with a goal and two assists. A Kersey from the left wing side. He'll give it up to Keo, now to Walters. Walters trying to shake free. Has it now to the left of Miller in front of Paulus. And he couldn't hang on. And Miller now will fire it on ahead. And Ned Karate into Rochester territory. Karate waiting for Jordan Hall. And he'll give it to Ross. Ross has it in the high slot. Gives it over now on the far boards to Karate. Westervelt gives it back over. Westervelt gets it. The shot he hit the post. And Westervelt's shot was deflected in on Matt Vince and hit the near pipe. Hall gives it over to Ross, looking. Now still trying to penetrate the D. Gives it to Jordan Hall. Watch there by Sid Smith. Gives it across, and that one is going to bank behind the Rochester goal. And Vince will steer it on over. Left wing side to Tyler Burton. Burton gives it over to Point. Back up top to Paulus. 
Hollis to Walters. Walters on the near boards. Walters in the slot, trying to shake off one man. Still with it. Walters tried to feed it over to Paulus, who grabs it. He loses the handle on it. Trying to get away from Joel White. And now Manley will pass it on ahead. And the wings taking away the two-man game between Walters and Paulus. Rochester trying to go to that in consecutive possessions. And they've been foiled both times. 12.26 to go here in the fourth. We're tied up at seven. East Division semifinals. Mundorf with it, trying to get away from Dylan Evans. Mundorf rips it wide of the net. Rochester's gonna scoop it up in transition. Campbell racing in. Over now to Self, or check that's Dylan Evans. That was a great read there by Dylan Evans. He didn't force that ball to the net. He kind of, he was real patient, got, pulled the ball out and got the ball to the offensive players for the Rochester Nighthawks. Might as well give it to the guys that get paid to score goals. Akersi now tried to feed it in tight, and Keo tried to take it away. Mundorf got away from that check, gives it to Merrill. Philly's got numbers, and Brody Merrill still with it, the shot, and he pushes that one wide. It gets around the glass where it's picked up by Rabel as it scooted around the near boards, and now Westervelt will fire it on over. In on goal, Merrill, but he elects to pull it up top in an illegal pick call. Rochester now with an opportunity. Two on one break the other way. Scott Campbell in on goal, the shot over the top of the net. Scott Campbell, or check that, Scott, Scott Self. Scott Self, Scott Self, yeah. The two Self brothers were going down on a two on one, and, and Scott elected to shoot the ball. I think he might have been able to pass that over to Brad, so they might have a little bit of a conversation on the bench <laughs> as soon as they get off. 11 minutes to go as Rabel has it on the left wing side. Flips it behind the net and that's gotta be tracked down by Jordan Hall. Hall backing in on Scott Campbell. Feeds it over right wing side, the shot over the top of the net. Rochester will take over. I don't know why I thought that was Scott Campbell. That lightning speed that same first Scott, names, yeah. but I mean totally different. The lightning speed that Scott Self had. I, he I, I would like, take that as a compliment. Like Soupy, looked like Soupy. <laughs> Stephen Keo from the left wing. He'll give it over now to Johnny Paulus. Down low to Joe Walters. Walters backing his way in toward the cage. Walters looking, still with it. Swim move takes it in on goal. The shot and a crease violation as Miller makes the save. Walters tried to muscle his way in on goal, and Miller made the stop with 10.24 to go. As Buchanan now on the far side. Buchanan behind the net to Crawley, who's got two goals tonight. Crawley to Westervelt. Up top to Buchanan. The shot, that goes wide of the net. Grabbed by Westervelt, six seconds on the shot clock. That low shot, kick save by Vince as he got the left pad out. That was a real nice kick save by Matt Vince. This is a real pleasure watching both of these goalies play net tonight. It's, uh, they're both active, they're both, uh, they both have lots of agility and it's, it's real fun to watch. Crawley's shot goes wide, but an illegal pick call as Sid Smith was dumped behind the play by Drew Westervelle. When we come back, it'll be Nighthawk ball, 9.46 to go. We're tied up at seven on the Nighthawks broadcast network. Thunder Drive is a zero calorie, zero sugar, zero carb energy shot for you. Call 877-766-4295 for more info. Thunder Tribe, the charge you need. Welcome to Moe's with over 20 real ingredients like all natural chicken, grass-fed steaks, and handmade guacamole. You can enjoy an awesome one-of-a-kind burrito, taco, quesadilla, or more at Moe's Southwest Grill. Plus, you get free trips, chips and salsa with every order. House rules. To find a Moe's near you, visit Moe's.com. NLL Radio offers the best online radio coverage of the NLL. Download the app and listen to exclusive live game broadcasts anywhere on your smartphone. NLL Radio is also your home for weekly shows and player interviews. It's all for free. For more info, visit NLL.com. Time to win some money. We got our 50-50 raffle going on today. 
on the line, $1,800. I'm here with our Thunder. Go ahead and shake those up. Give me another good turn there. There you go, one more. And I'll ask one of the ladies to reach in. That's because last week I got chased in my car. The winner of $1,800 in the 50-50 raffle, one, nine, eight, two, one. 19, 8, 2, 1. Congratulations. You're the winner of tonight's 50-50 raffle. Dan Dawson will start the offense. He had four goals in the first half. And he will start the possession up. 33-32 are the shots for Rochester. Both of these goalies have played exceptionally well tonight. So Dawson has Purvis, Paulus, Akersi out on the turf along with Joe Walters. And Philadelphia settling back defensively. Rochester trying to advance to the East Division semifinals for the second time in two years. Philly trying to advance to the division finals for the first time since 2001. Yeah, most definitely. And you know what? Philly has played a real good game tonight. They've, uh, you know, their game plan is, it, it seems like they're slowing it, slowing things down. They're not pushing the ball down the floor. Um, offensively, they're really, they're really taking that, uh, working with the 32nd clock. And defensively, Brandon Miller's playing, playing his one of his best games. And, and defensively, they're really keeping uh, the Rochester Nighthawks out, out to the outside. Walters over to Dawson, left wing side to Akersi. Now up top to Purvis, near boards to Paulus, down low to Walters in front. The shot by Akersi goes wide, crease violation, and Brody Merrill now in transition. We'll take it across midfield where he'll feed it over to Rabel. Rabel lost his footing for a moment. Runs into two defenders. That one is nearly picked off. And Purvis does come away with it. Purvis getting away from Rabel and he'll feed it to Paul Dawson in the slot to Point. And Point tried to feed it over to Paulus. Very unselfish play, but I thought Point should have just let that one go. Yeah, most definitely. Craig Point usually does shoot that ball, and uh, you know he's somebody that's uh, kind of been a little bit snake bitten tonight, and he's he's having a, 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 not a bad game offensively, but I think what he does best is shoot the ball, and he had a great opportunity to do that there. Buchanan with it, has it to the left of Vince. Now to Westervelt, over to Mundorf, looking, firing, and he misses wide of the net. Westerveld trying to grab it. It is grabbed and a loose ball push. And the Rochester bench doesn't like that call. There was only one second left on the shot clock. Rochester would have taken over the ball anyway. And the wings now with an extra possession as self. I think that might have been a little bit of a little bit of a push there. Fed over to Mundorf, the shot goes wide of the net. Grab, fed over now to Rabel. Rabel to the right of Vince. Gives it now to Mike McClellan. Two seconds left in the shot clock and he'll loft it into the near corner. Eight minutes to go here in the fourth. Rochester looking for their first goal since 6.51 of the third. It's Brad Self across midfield to Steven Keo, who's got Rochester's last goal. Now to Walters, over to Keo. Dawson with it on the left wing side. Penalty coming up to Heim. He just smoked Micah Kersey as he cross-checked him down to the turf. Dan Dawson with it. Rochester with the extra attacker. Dawson fires the shot and that's deflected wide. Scooped up in the near corner by Sweeney and a cross-checking penalty coming up. And Sid Smith asking for a five. And he's gonna be told it is only a two minute. 
Yeah, that was definitely, uh, definitely a penalty. I'm not sure if it was a five-minute penalty, but, uh, you know, obviously at this point in the game, it's, uh, it was, it's a two-minute penalty for sure. And this is an opportunity for, for Rochester's power play to, uh, to stick one in here. And it's, it's you know, it's 7-7 seven, seven with seven minutes to go here in the game, so it's, uh, it, it's time to step up. Dawson left wing side, over to Akersey. Now to Paulus, to Akersey. Akersey in front to Paulus, he can't pull the trigger. Miller picks it up, lofts it on ahead, taken across midfield. Seven minutes to go as Brody Merrill has it in his stick. Merrill gives it to Ross as the penalty was assessed to Ned Crotty. 124 remaining in the Rochester man advantage. Eight seconds on the shot clock now for Ross. Ross behind the Rochester goal. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Manning up against two Nighthawks who pin him behind the net and strip the ball away. Rochester now will take over as Dylan Evans across midfield. Six and a half to go. Flip pass to Dan Dawson. Rochester on the power play. Down low to Paulus. Walters works it over. Now he'll get it back from Dawson. Dawson on the left wing, looking in on goal. Now up top for Walters. Over to Paulus on the right wing. Now to Walters. To a Kersey. Over to Dawson, left wing side. Looking, fires the shot over the top of the net, and Rochester can't keep it in. That's going to be an over and back violation. And Philadelphia will take over deep in Rochester territory with 6.10 to go here in the fourth. 41 seconds to go. And the Rochester man advantage as Paul Rabel has it in front of the wings bench. Gives it across now to Buchanan. Buchanan against Scott Self. Less than six to go here in the fourth. Seven to seven, winner goes to the division finals. Rabel with it and an illegal pick call. And Rochester will take over as Westervelt was called for an illegal pick, so Rochester with 18 seconds to work with on the man advantage. Dawson in the high slot, gives it over to Walters, up top to Dawson, looking, feeds it over, scores! Craig Point rips it home, a power play goal, it's eight to seven. Yeah, that was a nice goal there by Craig Point, and a real nice pass there by Dan Dawson to uh, to feed Craig Point. They, they obviously got got Brandon Miller to step out step out a couple steps closer to the top of his crease and, and make a nice pass over to Craig Point, who could, who definitely, that's that's one of his best, uh, probably one of his best shots that uh, that he has between either, uh, you know, somebody passing him the ball or Cody Jamison passing him the ball on the, uh, on the, on the back side. He could definitely, he could definitely bury with the best of them back there. Eight to seven, Rochester regains the lead. Craig Point with a power play goal with five minutes and 40 seconds left. Evans facing off against Reynolds. Evans trying to pin it underneath himself as they battle for it in the faceoff circle and it's gonna be Wings ball. So Philadelphia will have possession as Ned Crotty, the man who was penalized and Rochester capitalized, gives it over to Buchanan. Now over to Ross. Ross has it. Flips it up top, Buchanan spinning away from Kirk, gives it to Rabel, left wing side to Westervelt. Westervelt taking it in on goal, the shot and a save by Vince. Bounce pass ahead now to Dylan Evans, across midfield, into wings territory. Joe Walters telling him to wait up for some help. And Paulus gives it down the near boards to Joe Walters, who will pass it now to Stephen Keel. And he'll give it over on the far boards to Joel McCready. McCready brings the ball up top, gives it to Paulus, down the near boards to Walters. Walters in on goal, the shot, saved by Miller. It rolls through the crease and it's scooped up by Brandon Miller. Joe Walters very nearly gave his team a two goal lead. But Brandon Miller with a good save as he stayed with him and moved over to his right to make the stop. Mundorf, right wing side, now gives it to Crawley. His shot is knocked down. Grabbed by Brad Self. Self now trying to get away from Rabel. One hands it to Johnny Paulus. That one is picked off. Back away come the wings as Reynolds intercepted that skip pass. 
That was a real nice play by Reynolds there. He, he got that loose ball and, uh, and hurdled, hurdled the Rochester Nighthawk player. Buchanan shot, what a save by Vince, he kicks it away. Three minutes and 45 seconds to go here in the fourth. Nighthawks eight, Philly seven. Westervelt with the ball. Westervelt flips it up top to McClellan over right wing side. Fed down low, that one is stripped away. Scott Self trying to take it away. Penalty coming up to Scott Self. Jordan Hall now spinning away. One hands it over the top of the goal and that's grabbed by Scott Campbell. That's definitely an unfortunate occurrence there. It's, uh, you know, it looks like uh, Scott Self is gonna get a uh, two minute cross checking penalty. And uh, you know, it's uh, this time of the game, it's uh, eight, eight, seven for Rochester. Three minutes, 21 seconds to go in the game here. It's uh, definitely a, a penalty that's, that, that, that probably could have been avoided. 3.21 to go, and the Nighthawks in the lead, 8-7. We'll be back in the Nighthawks broadcast network. Buffalo and Syracuse in the Upstate Indoor Lacrosse League. The UIL is the official youth box lacrosse training organization of the Rochester Nighthawks. Visit upstateindoorlacrosse.com for more info. Everybody, it's time for the Seneca Niagara Casino spin to win. Now all through the regular season and now in the playoffs, nobody's lost. I hope you're not the first one to ever not win the spin to win. You know the routine. Whenever you're ready, you say spin. They'll th show the uh, jackpot one arm bandit up on the screen. Whenever you're ready. Spin it. All right, big money, no whammies. If you land on three distillery logos, you will win a gift card. I'm sorry, Seneca logos, you will win a gift card to the distillery. There we go, another winner for the Seneca Niagara Casino spin to win. Have fun at the distillery, four locations, Greece, Victor, Mount Hope, and Winton Road. Tonight, the Rochester Nighthawks honor the top performances from the 2013 National Lacrosse League season. The first award tonight is the team's most valuable player presented by Rico. This Rochester Nighthawks set the NLL single season saves record with 662 saves. The Rochester goalie led the league with a 10.17 goals against average and an 803 save percentage. He set Rochester single season records for saves and save percentage. The Rico Most Valuable Player goes to goaltender Matt Vince. Vino! 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 Welcome back to the Blue Cross Arena. Vince was named the team's MVP, and they've been counting on him a lot tonight. We'll see if he can slam the door here on the wings. Eight to seven Rochester, 3.21 to go. The wings on the man advantage on the penalty to Scott Self. Yeah, and Philadelphia looking to even things up here. Yeah, if, there, if there definitely was a time for, for Matt Vince to step up, not that he hasn't stepped up all year long, but here's a time where he can uh, he can definitely take this team and, 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 and move forward with them. So it's, uh, you know, it, they say that your best penalty killer is your goalie, and if, if that's the case, we got one of the best goal, goaltenders in the league here, so that's something that's, uh, that bodes, bodes real well for the Rochester Nighthawks in this, in this uh, penalty kill here. Well, here we go. 3.20 to go, Mundorf with the ball, up top to Hall. Left wing side to Crawley, down low to Westervelt. Over to Crawley, now to Mundorf, over to Ross. To Hall, up top to Mundorf. Three minutes to go as Westervelt gives it to Mundorf. The shot, it's knocked away by Vince. Picked up on the near boards by Crawley. Now over to Mundorf. Now to Westervelt, back to Mundorf. Over on the far side to Ross. Grabbed by Hall up top, Mundorf looking, fires, shot wide of the net. Mundorf going after it, he tracks it down. Gives it over left wing to Crawley. Up top to Mundorf. Now to Ross, up top to Mundorf, the shot, that is knocked down. That's kicked away on the half wall. Picked up two seconds left on the shot clock, he hit his own man. Now Sid Smith takes it across midfield. Walters on a breakaway, 
the shot. Oh, what a save by Brandon Miller. And there was a whistle behind the play. We've got a bench penalty to Philly. I don't think it was a bench penalty. I think somebody somebody actually Left jumped. early. No, I think somebody actually jumped on, on uh, Scott Self's back. So it was, it was something that... Uh, you know, I, I, I looked in the corner of my eye and see two bodies flying towards flying towards the board, so I'm not quite sure it was a, uh, a too many men call. It might have been an interference or a, or a roughing kind of call. I'll have to get this call. Yeah, you're right, because Westervelt headed off. He was the one that battled on the near boards here. Yeah. 2.20 to go. Two minutes for roughing is the call on Drew Westervelt. 2.13 to go, Rochester with the ball, Walters on the near boards, has had back-to-back -back great opportunities. Walters looking, still with it. Walters backing in, Walters loses it, going after it, still with it, battling on the near boards, it's flipped up, and Kyle Hartzell will steal it away. 1.50 to go, four on four lacrosse. Buchanan with it on the far side. Buchanan in the slot. Gives it over now to Rabel. Rabel flips it in front of the net. That one is picked off by Sid Smith, and he'll flip it on over to Paul Dawson. One minute and 30 seconds to go. Rochester on the power play in eight seconds. Dawson in on goal. He scored! Paul Dawson, the biggest goal of his life. Yes, that was definitely, definitely a, a, uh, a big goal for Paul Dawson. And you know what? For a, a defensive guy to get that in transition, that's a, that, that's a great great opportunity for, for, for a guy like him to go to the net and, and, and put the ball in behind Brandon Miller. It's uh, something that, that gives you energy. It gives you, it gives you a bit of a, uh, gives you a, bit of a, a lead and, and uh, definitely momentum in the game. So to go up by two goals with 123 to go is definitely... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a security blanket, but it's, it, it's pretty close. Well, all the goals under two minutes are reviewed, so they will take another look at this. And that is definitely a good goal. Paul Dawson, what a great goal. One goal in the regular season, one goal in the postseason. Definitely a big goal, definitely a big goal for sure. Now Paul Dawson, yes Paul Dawson, not Dan Dawson, has given Rochester a two goal lead, 1.23 to go and the Nighthawks, more importantly, go on the man advantage in two seconds. 1.23 to go, Brandon Miller is signaling to his bench that he is gonna race out if they win the face off. You know what, here, even with Reynolds taking the face off, it's, uh, it's something that uh, Philly definitely has an advantage on, that's for sure. They battle for it. Rochester now with the man advantage. That one goes back into Philadelphia territory as it's grabbed by Joel White. Kirk was in pursuit. Miller's on the bench now for Philly. Rochester on the man advantage, but Philly with the empty net. One minute to go. 9-7 Nighthawks, Mundorf to Rabel on the left wing. Rabel in the slot. Over now on the right wing. Back up top to Rabel. Left wing side, Crawley. Backing his way in. He loses it. Picked up by Brad Self. Self now fires it on ahead to Scott Campbell. Campbell over now to Walters. And Walters lost his footing. He takes a big hit, and I think a timeout was called by Rochester. Yeah, so that was definitely a great, uh, a great call there by, by the bench to, uh, to call that timeout with with 20 seconds on the shot clock and 38 seconds on the on the game clock here, so that's definitely something that uh, you know that's that's smart smart lacrosse by by the by the bench staff of, of Rochester. So the Rochester Nighthawks with a 9-7 lead as Paul Dawson scores for Rochester, only the second postseason goal of his career. 
38.1 to go. Rochester with a two goal lead. They've got the ball. They are 38 seconds away from going back to the East Division Finals. And that will either be here in Rochester or in Toronto. The Rock face off at three o'clock tomorrow, Air Canada Center against Minnesota. 15 seconds remaining on the Westervelt penalty. Dan Dawson waiting up top as Johnny Paulus has it on the near boards. Fired over now to Keo. Over to Akersi. Akersi to Keo on the left wing. 30 seconds to go. Walters back to Dawson playing keep away. 26 seconds left. Over now to Akersi in front. The shot scored! No mercy from Mike Akersi. That goal there definitely put the nail in the coffin for the for the Philadelphia Wings. And you know what? Good for good for Mike Kirsten to uh, to come in and, and and get get that last goal to go up go up by three there. Obviously it was wide open and you know what? Mike Kirsten does what he does and, and that's uh, that's what he does best is put the ball in the net. So it's something that uh, it's good for him and, and and get him a goal into this game. 21 seconds to go here in Rochester, New York, as Reynolds wins it ahead. Reynolds loses it. Scott Campbell knocks the stick out of the hands of Reynolds. Paul Dawson going after it against Brody Merrill. Now we've got some players tied up with six seconds to go. The shot he scored. 4.6 to go and the Wings put one by Matt Vince to make it 10-8. I think that was Buchanan. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it's just an outside shot by Buchanan there. I kind of see it in the corner of my eye. I was watching the other, the other stuff going off along the, along the boards there. And uh, definitely for sure, uh, you know, Buchanan gets a, uh, an, another nice goal. But uh, it was, uh, you know, I think it might be a little bit too late here. So five seconds to go. And the Rochester Nighthawks. Five seconds away, they lead 10 to eight. Actually 6.6 .6 they put up there now, so they added an extra two seconds. Burton will take the draw for Rochester against Reynolds. Burton going after it, he chops it away. And that's gonna do it. The Rochester Nighthawks have defeated the Philadelphia Wings 10 to eight and will advance to the East Division Finals. So the defending champs start like they did last year. They knock off the Wings. Who's gonna be waiting next? Is it Toronto? Is it Minnesota? We'll have to wait till tomorrow evening. Rochester with a gutsy win without their leading point getter. Cody Jamison who left the game in the second quarter. And with the help of some secondary scoring, the Rochester Nighthawks have defeated the Philadelphia Wings by two. It ends the wing season. And Rochester advances on as they try to become the first team to repeat since the 2002-2003 Toronto Rock. Jeremy Newman is down at field level. We'll get ready for the announcement of the most valuable player. And either that's got to be Dan Dawson or Matt Vince. It's going to be tough. You know what? Yeah. Uh, overall, from start to finish, I think Matt Vince deserves it. You know, obviously Paul Dawson got got four goals early in the uh, early in the early in the game. Um, you know that he definitely started the game. So, um, but. Overall, I think when push comes to shove, down the stretch, letting eight goals in, I think you gotta give it to Matt Vince. So the Rod Rochester Nighthawks victorious. And Matt Vince finishes with 29 saves. Brandon Miller, 28. Dan Dawson, six points tonight. Four goals and two assists. And for the Philadelphia Wings, Drew Westervelt, two goals and two assists. Brendan Mundorf, two goals and one assist as the Nighthawks. Advance to the division finals. And there's Cody Jamison out on the turf with Matt Vince. And 
The Nighthawks take down the Philadelphia Wings. We'll be back for the final wrap up on the Nighthawks broadcast network. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's dick-eyed player of the game is none other than number six, Dangerous Dan Dawson. Four goals, two assists. Congratulations to Dangerous Dan Dawson, tonight's dick-eyed player of the game. Fans, don't forget to watch to, uh, watchnighthawks.com for information on Toronto, Minnesota. There may be a game here next Saturday, May the 4th. On behalf of the staff, management, and players from your Rochester Nighthawks, I'm Rocky Parada. Thank you for coming out this afternoon and this evening. Drive home safe and party on, Hawk fan. Oh!